What's going on, guys? And welcome back to another episode of Season 5 of the Jurassic World Evolution 2 Sanctuary Park. Last we left off, we bred up a bunch of dinosaurs like Styracosaurus, Stegosaurus, and um, Ceratosaurus. And we also got Dinochirus. And over here, we've got Microceratus, Pachyranosaurus, Alamosaurus, Segisaurus, and the Concavenators who are making their way over that lone Microceratus who's just over here. You can be, uh, I guess you can be lonely. Your name's gonna be lonely. You know, because you're, you're more of a loner than anything else. You're about to be in trouble with those two concavenators, I'm just saying. But yeah, anyway, we're gonna add in six more herbivores and four more carnivores. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, starting with the herbivores. Herbivore number one is... Taurosaurus, okay. Herbivore number two, what will it be? Triceratops, really? Okay. Herbivore number three, Archaeornithomimus, and herbivore number four. Let's take a look. Nigersaurus, okay, two more. Herbivore number five, what will it be? Struthiomimus, and herbivore number six. The final herbivore of the episode is... Spinoceratops, okay. Alright, so we'll throw those three herbivores in. So for the six herbivores, we've got Taurosaurus, Triceratops, Archaeornithomimus, Nigersaurus, Struthiomimus, and Spinoceratops. Alright, let's start releasing the herbivores. We'll release the Struthiomimus first. <laughs> We could have a better variety of dinosaurs. Let's go ahead and release the Taurosaurs next. Let's move on to the Archaeornithomimus. And finally, Nigersaurus for this side. Alright, these guys will take some time to release, so while we wait for them, let's start releasing the other two. We'll start with Triceratops. They'll probably compete with the Stegosaurs for territory, I would imagine. Alright, that's Triceratops. And now let's release Spinoceratops. That's all of the herbivores done. Let's move on to the carnivores. All right, four more carnivores. What's carnivore number one gonna be? All right, Megalosaurus is up first. What is number two? Allosaurus, all right. Number three, Monolophosaurus. And what is number four? Let's go. Metriacanthosaurus. All right, so, so for the four carnivores, we've got Megalosaurus, Allosaurus, Monolophosaurus, and Metriacanthosaurus. So I'm going to go ahead and save those, close that. We don't need that anymore. So let's release the Megalosaurus and Monolophosaurus, like, over on this side. Let's go. All right, so we've got more carnivores coming in. we got some dinosaurs wandering the area. Spreading out a bit, that's cool. Let's release the Monolophosaurus. Of course they're blocked! Oh my god. Could you please get out the way so we can open the gate? Oh my god, come on! Please! Will you get out of the way? Thank you, there we go. The Monolophosaurus are being released. Figured we'd get all nine of them. Now let's release the Megalosaurus. 
We got more carnivores coming in. That's Megalosaurus done. Let's save the Allosaurus for last. Let's get... Of course they're blocked. Let's release Metricanthosaurus next. And finally, the two Allosaurs. The two apex predators of this valley so far. So now we've got the Allosaurs, and now we've got a lot more going on. So now that that's the case, let's, uh, let's modify. All right. We now have the valley filled with whatever. We've got dinosaurs wandering over here. We've got a Nigersaurus all alone over here for whatever reason. We've got a Nigersaurus over here, all three concavenators. I don't think they'll attack the Nigersaurus. Um, we've got... We got a fight between two Monolophosaurs already. Triceratops and Allosaurus going at it. We'll have to see what goes on here. Something died. Advance 69% against 84%. We got two Stegosaurus. Oh! Metricanthosaurus died to a fight with Spinoceratops. What were your traits? Quenched, fit, tolerant, and social. And Spinoceratops 2. Looks like Allosaurus won that fight. What are your treats? Quenched, long-lived, humble, tolerant, social, and defensive. All right. We got two Triceratops duking it out. Got a Gigantoraptor running into the woods. We got a fight between a Taurosaurus and a Megalosaurus. We'll have to see who wins here. 72% against 100%. Yeah, Megalosaurus got the first hit. We got a fight between a Stegosaurus and Bruton, one of the few remaining Ceratosaurs from the first episode. Alright, someone's on low health. Looks like the Stegosaurus landed the first hit. In. These guys are doing a dance, and I think they're going to call it off after this. Yep. Stegosaurus won that. 3%. You're on 3% right now. Yeah, these Stegosaurs are pretty powerful. I wonder what the Allosaurs have on the table. We got one of the Allosaurs. This guy is quenched, long-lived, humble, and defensive. And his friend is small appetite, resilient, social, and strong. So we got an Allosaurus that's defensive and an Allosaurus that's strong. So we'll have to see what happens here. Poor Metricanthosaurus. And I love how it's just covered in snow. I love that. That is so cool, actually. Allosaurus, I think, trying to go after one of the Triceratops. Oh no, Jaguar, the Segisaurus, being hunted down by a Monolophosaurus. Oh, poor Seggy Soars. No. We got a fight between two Metricanthosaurs. Monolophosaurus versus Megalosaurus. Yeah, that's not going to last long. Yeah, the Megalosaurus is going to completely one-shot you. Yep, definitely. That Megalosaurus won that fight. We got a fight between a Spinoceratops and an Allosaurus. Oh my god. Spinoceratops actually landed the first hit in. Allosaurus did land the second hit. They do a little dance. A Monolophosaurus is hunting down another Segisaurus. Anaconda this time. I'm gonna have to start resupplying the... Segisaurs. Let's automate them. What's this? Gigantoraptor and Triceratops? Oh, That caught my attention. That's why I, you know... 87% against 65%. Okay, the Gigantoraptor is actually winning. They might call that off. Yep, we got Triceratops going up against Allosaurus. We'll have to see who wins here. Ooh, 
Triceratops lands a hidden. 69% against 100%. So now there's a lot more going on. Once you get to the second season, there's a lot more going on. 84% against 69%. We'll have to see who wins here. I think the Triceratops is in the lead. They do a little dance. Yep, Triceratops definitely won that. What are your traits? Quenched, fit, humble, tolerant, social, and strong. All right, so you're a strong boy. You're eating the Metricanthosaurus? Huh. That's strange. Actually, that could be a clickbaity thumbnail. Not a bad idea. <laughs> All right. So what was I doing? Oh, yeah, I wanted to automate the Segisaurs just so they have a food supply anyway. The Microceratus are still alive, so I'm not going to automate them just yet. Oh, hold on. We got Spinoceratops going up against... Oh, this is the same exact Spinoceratops going up against another Metricanthosaurus. This one does fight back, though. 62%. Resilient, nocturnal, humble, tolerant, and defensive. Ooh. It's not looking too good. You are at 23%. And Metricanthosaurus does get another bite. And meanwhile, we've got a Megalosaurus going up against a Concavenator. 81% against 46%. What are your traits? Small, appetite, tolerant, strong, and defensive. And your traits are... Small, appetite, quenched, long-lived, resilient, and tolerant. So the Megalosaurus did win that fight. I don't think anything will go after the Alamosaurus because they're just too big. Unless we get, like, T-Rex or... Carnotaurus in here, or if even Ceratosaurus was here. Ceratosaurus actually goes after the sauropods. So if Ceratosaurus makes its way over here, the Alamosaurus could be in trouble. We got a fight between a Stegosaurus and a Spinoceratops. We'll have to see what happens here. Ouch. We got another fight between a Stegosaurus and a Ceratosaurus. Ooh. 53% against 100%. It's not looking too good for the Cerato. Not looking too good for the Ceratosaurus at all. Yeah, they're calling it off. We got a Monolophosaurus that died to a Megalosaurus. We've got... What's this? Monolophosaurus died to Megalosaurus. Is it the same Megalosaurus? No, these are different Megalosaurus. And another, and a Nigerosaurus dead to a Megalosaurus. We got a Metricanthosaurus going after Stracosaurus. They're calling it off. 100% against 53%. We got a, we got Bruton. Looks like he's going after a Triceratops. Yep. 95% against 100%. I think Triceratops will get the first hit in. Oh no, Bruton gets the first hit. What are your traits? Humble, tolerant, and social. And resilient. Well, your traits are... Small appetite, resilient, strong, and defensive. Well, Bruton is putting up a good fight. You really are putting up a good fight. Damn, you won that. Even at 95%. We got Metricanthosaurus about to duke it out with uh, Ceratosaurus, I think. 63% against 100%. No, it's not looking good for Metricanthosaurus. Yep, dead. Which means this one here is the last living Metricanthosaurus. We'll have to see what goes on here. You're kind of default colors, which looks cool. The two Allosaurs, I think, are still living. How many Cerratos do we have left? We got Monolophosaurus against Concavenator, I think all the way over here. Spinoceratops versus Allosaurus. Anyone take any damage yet? No, 100%. Okay, Spinoceratops lands the first hidden, and already at low health, Allosaurus. Okay. Oh, that Allosaurus is actually dead. Oh, that's a shame. Allosaurus died. Which means... 
Oh no, you're just sleeping. I thought you were dead for a second. No, this Allosaurus is fine. You could be Goldie. You could be Goldie. We got a fight between Spinoceratops and Bruton. Didn't Bruton just get into a fight? 85%. Okay, they do a little dance. Right next to the dead Allosaurus. Isn't this the Spinoceratops that just... Oh no, Bruton! Bruton is dead! Oh no, a different Spinoceratops killed the Allosaurus, but... These Spinoceratops are... Kind of OP. I'm just gonna say that right now. We got Bruton dead over here and an Allosaurus dead over here. We got another Concavenator fighting another Monolophosaurus. They're probably going to be fighting quite a lot, I would imagine. That Monolophosaurus is on low health. 48%. I think Concavenator is going to land another hit and it's going to kill the Mono. Oh no, they do a little dance at 2%. The Mono's got to retreat at this point. Yep, he's retreating. The Megalosaurs are kind of dominating this area. I mean, they got good prey like the... The Tor Torosaurs, Pachyranosaurs. Ceratosaurus and Metricanthosaurus are going at it. The last living Metricanthosaurus is going up against one of the last remaining Ceratosaurs. We'll have to see what happens here. Meanwhile, we've got Goldie just running past them. I think hunting down a Gallimimus, it looks like. We're trying to. They're fighting right next to another Ceratosaurus, I just realized. Alright, let me see how many creatures we have left. Megalosaurus versus Pachyrhinosaurus. I was just wondering about those guys. 62% against 100%. Pachyrhinosaurus could get a hit in. And it does! Against the Megalosaurus. Yeah, and they're calling off their fight. I just want to see what we have left for dinosaurs. Let's take a look and see what do we got. So for Concavenators, we still have all three. We're only down to one Ceratosaur now. That's crazy. We've got eight Archeornithomimus. We've got... All four Gigantoraptors. We've got seven Microceratus. They... Metricanthosaurus is officially extinct. We got all three Megalosaurs, only two Nigrosaurs, five Pachyrhinosaurs, 14 Segisaurs, but, but I have them on automation, so we should be good on that. We got three Spinoceratops, six Stegosaurs, seven Struthiomimuses, five Styracosaurs, one Allosaur, six Triceratops, and yeah. That's about it, really. On two Alamosaurs as well. And I think all four Dinochirus are still alive. Yeah, all four Dinochirus are still here. They're kind of just minding their own business, spending most of their time in the river. We got a fight between a Triceratops and Goldie, the Allosaurus. Looks like Goldie got the first hit in. What's this trike's trait? Small appetite, quenched, fit, long-lived, humble, tolerant, and social. While Goldie's traits include quenched, long-lived, humble, and defensive. Alright, they're... I think they might call it off. Yeah, the Goldie won that fight. Alright, that's awesome. I'm surprised you haven't fought any Stegosaurs yet. So yeah, the Metricanthosaurs are officially extinct. I think we only have one Ceratosaur left. Yeah, this is the last living Ceratosaur about to fight a Spinoceratops. Oh no. And this is the same exact one that killed that... I think this is the same one that killed Bruton. Ooh, the Ceratosaurs may go extinct. Yep, they're extinct. Meanwhile, we've got a fight between Gage and a Triceratops. We'll have to see what happens here. Ouch. The 
trike didn't even get a single hit in. 9% against 100%. Oh, he does fight back a little. Yeah, they're gonna call it off. Sage or Gage won that fight. So the Ceratosaurs have officially gone extinct. Ooh. We got a fight between a Spinoceratops and Goldie. Now this is the same Spinoceratops that I believe killed the first Allosaurus. Yeah, this is the same Spinoceratops. Goldie seems to be putting up more of a fight, though. Goldie actually won that. Good for him. So the only Apex Predator left is pretty much Goldie. The Megalos, the Metricanthosaurs have gone extinct. The Cerados have gone extinct. We got a Metricanthosaurus, or sorry, a Megalosaurus fighting a Monolophosaurus. 5%. Took a hit from, he actually took a hit from a Megalosaurus. You're strong, defensive, and resilient. That'll explain it. And we got Lonely still just chilling over here. Survived for as long as you have. That's pretty good, I guess. Oh, we got Gage fighting a Spinoceratops. We'll have to see what happens here. Now, this is the same exact Spinoceratops that killed Bruton. Two of the Cerrados died to this guy. You know, we'll call him Carnage. You can be Carnage. Because you like to kill carnivores. Or how about Cerrado Buster? You can be Cerrado Buster. And you lost to Gage. Oh, cool. Concavenator fighting another Monolophosaurus, killing a Monolophosaurus. We got a Taurosaurus fighting a Megalosaurus. And you know what? This is coming along nicely. The map is filling up a bit more. We've got a Gigantoraptor just uh, wandering around. We got something on low health. A Megalosaurus being on low health against a Taurosaurus. All right. I think that's a good place to wrap it up for this episode. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, hold on. Before we do that, we've got Goldie fighting a Stegosaurus. 62% against 100%. Yeah, Goldie got the first hit in. Goldie knows how to handle his own, it looks like. You know, I'd love to see Gage go up against Goldie. All right, they're calling it off. But as I was saying, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.